Hello, we are team Go With The Flow, consisting of Amber Davis, Tucker Hoekstra, Jessica Peebles, and Victoria Perot. And our senior design project is the rehabilitation of the Kyrene Water Reclamation Facility. The original problem given to our team was the rehabilitation of the Kyrene Water Reclamation Facility located in Tempe, Arizona. And it was originally shut down in 2009 due to environmental issues relating to the level of toxic fumes produced. The main goals that were given to um, the team by the facility were it needed to accomplish and meet EPA AD and ADEQ requirements with designing a new facility. As well as in designing this new facility, it could not exceed the city budget and it also had to reduce the production demand of the original facility from 9 million gallons per day to 4 million gallons per day. The team then added new goals that we also wanted um, to add on to this design, which would be to add a solids handling facility and also reduce cost of operation and power consumption by 5%. The additional goals that we wanted to accomplish if time permitted would be to find new, new uses for the water that is overproduced by this facility. And that is either um, giving it to different research sources for the universities in the surrounding areas or small businesses, as well as um, possibly giving it um, slash having it bought by different golf courses and different farms for irrigation. As any project, there are always constraints. One constraint that we had that was also a goal of ours was the plant must, had, must meet environmental standards. Otherwise, it would be shut down again like it had before in 2009 or incur fines. Another one that we had was giving, we were given a static landmass, as you can see in the upper right hand corner. Um, the facility cannot go and expand outwards of the original landmass that was given to the facility by the city. Also, in designing our new plant, it should not increase the cost of running the plant. So, because it's hard to change the city budget and also we should not be losing money. Also, we are supposed to be producing an A plus effluent, which is required for potential reuse of this water. After weighing many alternatives, the team decided on these three solutions of replacing the equipment, including the membranes, coarse and fine screens, and UV lamps. Those individual equipments are probably, um, probably outdated, also potentially corroded since the plant has been shut down since 2009. Also, our team wanted to add a solid waste grinder to help with those, um, the flow of the sewage and to not have as many fermented gases within the sewage system. Also to shut down those two aeration basins since we are lowering the production rate from nine million gallons per day to four million gallons per day. This also helps with electricity costs. Um, all of these combined rehabilitate the facility and accomplish our main and intermediate goals. Other alternatives were decided against because they were not, they were not enough of an advantage to make a business case for them for the city. As Jessica just discussed, since we're only replacing some of the smaller equipment, um, the process flow diagram is pretty similar uh, as to what was given in the initial carbon water facility. However, down here you can see after uh, coming out of the course and fine screen step, there's a grinder and a solids handling facility. And then here's the block flow diagram. It's pretty similar to the process flow, just simplified a little bit by the streams. And then you can also find the uh, flow rates of the water and the contaminants coming in and out of each of the streams. And you can also find all of that data in the stream table right here. The inlet data was given, uh, estimated based on some of the prior data. And then for each step, the percent removal for some of the equipment, like the screens, the membranes were, um, were used to estimate how many of the contaminants were exited in each stream. Uh, there was also some water recycle streams. And for that, we used a 0.01% of the water incoming in that stream is recycled because that is the uh, standard in this country. And in some of the other streams, you'll see some zeros because those are some recycle streams that are not necessary unless the facility is running at full capacity. This is just the uh, other streams in the stream table. This one highlighted is the UV uh, lamp system. And after the stream, the water does meet the ADEQ standards. And then we just wanted to highlight this, this 2.8 million gallons per day is what's leaving uh, in the drains and being wasted. So we just wanted to highlight that. As 
this is a government owned facility was not expected to make a profit or receive a return on investment on newly added or updated equipment or on any of the startup costs um, on this facility. However, it was anticipated that by making these design solutions, they will help decrease the energy consumption of the place um, of the plant and also then decrease the cost of operation of the plant as well. So the total cost to replace the membranes, UV lamps, the course and fine screens, and add a solid waste grinder totals to about $137,084. However, by shutting down two aeration basins to adjust for the lower capacity and updating the technology has led to an energy consumption decrease by about 15%, which as you can see on the cash flow analysis results, um, results in an operating cost of about $2.61 million, which is under the uh, undiscounted cash flow column. Also, side note, the parentheses on this table indicates um, these numbers are the negative. Uh, and then, so that $2.61 million of cost operation is about 400000 less than what the operating cost was back in 2008. Throughout the design, we really wanted to lower the environmental impact of the plant as a whole. The uh, initial step of producing A plus M fluid already improves this, since we are taking reclaimed water and improving its condition. We wanted to improve the nitrogen levels being produced at the plant. Uh, by producing a more suitable environment for the biomass, the lower nitrogen levels uh, doesn't release into the atmosphere. Another main concern for us was lowering sewer contamination overall. So by reducing the size of garbage that was being sent into the sewer, we increased flow and lowered fermentation as well as the production of harmful chemicals within the sewer system. Additional recommendations include installing a hybrid blower with variable frequency drive. This allows operators to adjust the amount of oxygen being sent to the aeration basins, which will lower the nitrogen levels overall. Uh, we want to know other reuse for excess water, which we thought of going to ASU or other irrigation places that might need the excess water, as well as alternative ways to use the solid waste. But a lot of these were chopped out because we didn't have the funding as mentioned previously. We have special thanks for Dr. Adriana Brush, Dr. Carrie Hickenbottom, as well as AZ Water Associated. AZ Water Association for allowing us to participate in this competition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.